What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. It is another beautiful morning in New York City. As per usual, it is going to get a little hotter today, but it's not too hot yet. And I have not had my coffee yet because, you know, maybe if you heard from my last video, I had to, I was gonna ship my coffee maker back up to New York City from North Carolina, but it was too big in our small New York apartment. So I just sold it. And we're waiting on our other cute little coffee maker to come up, but it's on back order because everything's on back order right now. So until then, I'm going to get coffee at this little coffee shop, which surprisingly I used to go to way back in the day when I was studying for US Only Step 1. And I used to go and study here. So it's kind of funny how things change. And I'm going to this coffee shop, same coffee shop, what, six, seven, eight years later, whatever it is. So I'm going to get some coffee now. Andriana had her very first day of work today. She's a little nervous, but I'm sure she'll do great. We'll, we'll interview her later, possibly, if I can uh, get a hold of her when she gets home. But uh, yeah, let's get some coffee now. And I have a crazy busy day today, even though I still don't start fellowship yet. Just some odds and ends I have to take care of. So let's do that now. Well, that was a huge failure because apparently that coffee shop doesn't open until 8 a.m., which is crazy. Um, I think it's like COVID hours or something. But I'm off to the next coffee shop because the good thing about New York is there are about a million coffee shops, give or take, per square block. So what you probably don't realize is that when you start a new fellowship or a new residency program, you have to do seemingly endless amounts of paperwork. I have to do a ton of training before I start next week. I've already been doing a whole bunch of submission of a bajillion different documents. I've already done a ton of like modules for the hospital. I've already contacted every training program, med school, you name it, to get documentation that I'm in good standing from like 10 years ago. I've done everything, CPR, ACLS certifications, you name it. And now I have to do the whole electronic medical record training right now, which is Epic at my hospital. Many of you all have used Epic before. I actually used it the last four years at my hospital, but now I have to go through all the training again because it's almost impossible to kind of get your transcripts from the prior training to opt out of this one. So that's what I'm going to be doing the next couple of hours. It takes forever. I still have a whole bunch of modules after that. And yeah, time to uh, get to work. It is exhausting to say the least. It's actually so exhausting that my hospital has offered to pay us three days worth of salary if we complete all of this stuff on time. That's how crazy the amount of paperwork and onboarding tasks we have to do. So I'm obviously going to try and finish that today if I can. just doing that for about four or five hours all of that work I have to do which is absolutely insane if you think about it. I actually emailed the program coordinator and asked her what the penalty would be if I didn't finish it all. That's how much stuff it is. I guess people are yelling. Um, but I'm not complaining I just think it's crazy how much stuff we have to do and we have to do this every single year. Every program we go into uh, we always have to do something like this, but what can you do? I'd much rather spend my time making some YouTube videos. So now I'm going to get something to eat because I am beyond hungry. Also, it may be 1.30, but I'm definitely getting uh, egg and cheese bagel because I didn't eat breakfast. I was too busy doing a Brazilian training and exercise. Also, because I haven't had a bagel yet since I've been here. officially been doing all of my onboarding tasks for like six hours now all of the epic training all of this like 
New York State Infection Control, blah, 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 blah. And I'm pretty exhausted. So I decided to come up on this beautiful day to my rooftop, read some Entrepreneur Magazine. I, I don't ever get magazines. I just bought them because I was at the airport and I wanted to read something on the plane, but I never got around to it because it was such a short flight. Anyways, I'm gonna read it up here and enjoy the beautiful day. I forgot if I mentioned or not that Andrana's first day of work was today. So hopefully that went well. I'll probably meet her somewhere in between here and work tonight. Maybe we can go grab a cocktail or something, depending on what places are open. But otherwise, I'm gonna sit here, read my magazine, relax, enjoy this beautiful rooftop while I can, because before you know it, it's gonna be winter and it's gonna be freezing up here. So I might have to end out the day up here. All right, change of plans. So basically I was pretty bored and the day is too beautiful. So I figured I might as well hop on a bike and uh, explore a little bit. So let's just say I was a little bored on the rooftop and I realized it was such a beautiful day that I might as well get out and explore. Shout out to whoever told me on Instagram about city bikes. Well, I knew about city bikes, but you reached out to me and told me that healthcare workers or frontline healthcare workers in New York City get a free year membership with a certain code. So thank you so much for that. Now I officially have one year free of riding this, which I'll probably take to and from work because as you all know by now, I love these things. I mean, especially if you get one of the electric ones, you just kinda like barely pedal and it goes, there's like nothing better. Also, I've had a couple of people reach out to me asking me what I'm doing in New York City, why I'm even here, why did I move here from the great state of North Carolina? And honestly, I kind of had no choice. I moved here because I signed a contract over a year ago for my fellowship. For those of you who don't know, I'm doing an interventional radiology fellowship, which is a one year fellowship after you finish a diagnostic radiology residency. So I did one year of surgery internship or my first year of residency, followed by four years of diagnostic radiology residency, followed by this final sixth year of interventional radiology now I did almost seven months of interventional radiology this past year or my fourth year of radiology residency and fifth year of residency as a whole. So basically I kind of did like a little mini fellowship if you will, but this coming year is a full 12 months straight of interventional radiology, which is my subspecialty that I'm sub specializing into. If you've been a long time viewer of this channel, you know that interventional radiology is a subspecialty of diagnostic radiology, just like neuroradiology or musculoskeletal radiology or women's imaging. So I matched into this program in New York City over a year ago, last June. And if you've been around on this channel for a while, you may have seen that prior video, which I may link up here, or maybe just leave it to my OG subscribers. So I matched up here over a year ago. It's basically a signed contract, or it is a signed contract. So it doesn't matter if there's a pandemic or whatnot. So I'm here and I'm happy to be here. I've never been happier. As you can see, I'm out and enjoying as much of this New York life as I can before I start fellowship because I'm worried I won't have time to do this kind of thing anymore. So, well, I'm always gonna have time to do it, but between my schedule and Andrada's work schedule, it's gonna be a little harder to coordinate and I may not have these full days off to kind of do what I want. So I'm gonna go explore a little bit on the East River and uh, yeah, let's go. just like that that concludes this new york city vlog vlog number two make sure you smash that like subscribe button follow me on instagram if you don't already if you like more vlogs like this in new york city let me know in the comments below the first day of fellowship starts soon so hopefully i'll still be able to do this kind of thing otherwise i'll see you all on the next video